Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Narrow Arms N1, new for 2019 subcompact 9mm handgun that was debuted at the NRA convention. It's very small and lightweight. Smaller than others in the same class. We'll check that out in a bit. But many people said it looked like a Glock 43, and I'd agree with that. The back end does look like the original Glock 43, but the main difference is right here. See that? This is a hammer-fired pistol opposed to the striker-fired Glock 43. It does come with two seven-round magazines, extended base plate for three-finger contact, and a flat base plate, if that is your choice. Both carry seven rounds. And the MSRP is $399. Now, I have to believe that mid-300s, maybe 350 or so, will get you the N1, and it's being distributed out right now, mid-July. And it does come with a hard case and lock and paperwork and everything else along with the pistol and the two magazines. The texturing is pretty nice, kind of sandpaper-ish. Okay, not overly aggressive where it's going to irritate the skin when carrying it inside the waistband. Kind of the same texturing all around. I, I like this extended uh, base plate magazine. That'd be nice if that was textured. That's kind of slippery. It doesn't make a big difference, but it would be nice to match that, that front strap. You can see that the slide serrated cuts in both forend and rear serrations. It does have that right there, that cutout, and then it says N1. Okay, the N that goes into a 1. I think that's kind of cool. It also has cutouts on top of the slide right there and there. A little bit different. Two slot Picatinny rail on the dust cover. An overall pretty nice feel to it. Nice magazine deployment. Here's what we're looking at over here. The sights are three dot. The nice thing about this is that it is the sights are interchangeable with Glock 43 sights. So if you have uh, night sights for a Glock 43, you want to pop them on the N1, you could do that. Or if you get the N1 and, you know, you'll, you'll just know what to do. Get night sights for the Glock 43 and they'll fit right here. The main thing is the trigger that I think a lot of people say, you know, that thing's red. Yeah, it is red. It's kind of cool. A little bit skeletonized. And it's a true double action hammer fired gun. All right, so we'll once again show clear. There's your pull. I'm, I'm measuring it right around six and three quarters pounds, sometimes closer to six and a half and other times closer to seven. There's the first click. That There's nothing there. It's the second click, almost at full position, which is the reset right there. So it's a true double action, right around six and, a, and three quarter pound trigger pull. Would be a good choice for pocket carry for those looking to do that. And it's it's pretty pretty sharp. It's very very much lightweight. We're gonna get it on the scale. Actually, let's do that right now because I wanna I wanna compare a few things that you may find interesting. The unloaded weight is one one pound and so 16 and a half ounces. We'll look at it right here and we'll see 16 and a half ounces. But if we put in seven rounds in the flat base plate, we'll see that the loaded weight is 19 and an eighth ounce. Now here's a shield, all right? Very common handgun. We'll take a look at these, and we'll see that the slide just a hair longer with the shield. Both carry seven rounds, just a little bit shorter with the N1. But here's where the difference is. 25 and 5 eighths ounces with seven rounds. 19 and a quarter ounce with the N1. So it is a lightweight gun. Let's check out the CAR P9. Here we'll see almost identical. Now the CAR has a three and a half inch barrel, so it's a longer barrel. Uh, this has a 3.1 inch barrel. Both carrying seven rounds. And the loaded weight that has seven rounds loaded right now is 21 and 3.8. So it's even lighter than the CAR P9. But the one thing that I find extremely impressive with this gun, like none I've seen before, well, I have seen it before, but not on these subcompact low-cost guns, shall I say, like under $400, is the frame to slide finish. Look at that. There is nothing, nothing to, to uh, see through. Like, you don't see through anything. 
I'll also mention that it does have a stippled uh, thumb rest there also on this side all right stippled you know put your your finger finger rest but I am impressed by that and I noticed that the first time I took it apart so let's go ahead and do that right now it's unloaded no reason to pull the trigger we'll just move that lever down like that release the slide and that's what I'm talking about right there that's kind of CZ ish I mean that is really smooth and you'll notice that the polymer frame is built up a lot look at that fore end that is really built up it's strong and you know it's a, it's actually a um, glass filled uh, polymer all right much like the Ruger's and an aluminum chassis long rails right there and over here we have a uncaptured dual recoil spring there are actually two springs in there there they are polymer guide rod and your 3.1 inch barrel there it is there's your slide it's a it's a pretty nice new offering to the market I'm impressed with the size and weight of it all right right out of the gate narrow arms came up with a subcompact model man that is smooth that seems to they, they've seemed to do a very nice job I haven't shot it yet people who have shot it said it's very smooth and I'll definitely be doing that and checking it out at the range taking uh, uh, the camera with me to do a range review and you guys can check it out for yourselves so far it's, it's a pretty nice gun I'm impressed with the size and the lightweight of it and we'll see how it shoots at the range so far looks like they did a nice job if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe